Spun your last web, Spider-Man. Time to die. You're the man, Parker! Dude, that was at least nine points. <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys are such jerks, do you know that? Peter, are you okay? Yeah. Well, do you need help at? No, I just need to lay here for a minute. Flash, you're such a pathetic loser. I don't know what Liz sees in you. Relax, Watson. We're just having a little fun with him. Ain't that right, Parker? Yep. See? Leave him alone, or else I'll tell Liz who I saw you making out with last night. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Whatever, let's get out of here. Who are you making out with? Your mom, doofus. Here, Peter, let me help you up. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Do you need me to get the nurse? That was actually an experiment. It's a behavioral study I'm conducting on how human beings react when their prey resort to animal survival techniques. Sorry, Pete. I'm late for class. Can we talk about this a little later? 
Absolutely. So you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, hey, I can't have lunch with you and Harry today. I have a makeup test, but I'll talk to you soon. Okay. See you, MJ. Now that was pathetic. Okay, Jess, just so you know, we will be going on a field trip this Thursday to the genetic research facility. Be sure to have your yes. release form signed and turn it on with you. Aunt May! Aunt May! I'm here, Peter. What's all the commotion? Here, I need you to sign this. Sign what, dear? It's a permission slip for the field trip to the science exhibit. I told you about it. Well, I see no harm in a student field trip. Yes! You need a pen. Peter, don't hyperventilate. Genetic research on different species of arachnids? I can't even fathom the possibility of such experiments. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I'm thrilled. You're the lucky one, man. I bet you talk to your dad all the time about top secret genetic research. Yeah, not exactly my father's number one priority. So how much extra credit do you need? A freaking lot if I want to graduate. You know your dad thinks the world of you, Harry? Yeah. Considering all he does is talk about how he wants to adopt you and put me up on eBay. I haven't talked to him in three weeks, and all I did was talk about you. Maybe he's just trying to motivate you. Yeah, well it ain't working. Hello everyone, welcome to the Genetic Research Center. Please come on in so we can begin the lecture. Check it out! Arachnid Barata. After numerous experiments of radioactivity exposure on over 6,000 specimens, this single arachnid was the only survivor. Whoa, oh, Harry, are you hearing this? Everywhere. Harry? Wait, I don't see the spider. Where's the spider at? Excuse me. May I begin? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Peter. Hey, Pete. Peter. Peter. Dude, you look like you're gonna puke. You're late. Peter? Oh man, this can't be good. Peter? Oh no. Are you alright? I'm fine, Aunt May. I'm just gonna study and then go to bed. Good night. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Good night. Good night.
Well, I don't feel sick anymore, so that's a plus. I hope Aunt May didn't get the wrong idea about yesterday. I just hate worrying her and Uncle Ben. It just seems like they always have a way of blowing things out of proportion. What the? Oh my God. What happened to me? I'm ripped like Bruce Lee. What did I eat yesterday? Is this a gift from God or a delayed cycle of puberty? Anything's possible, I guess. God. All I know is one thing's for sure. It's about time. I'm worried about him. He didn't come out of his room all night. Yeah, he's fine. He's just at that age. Hey, there he is. Hey, guys. Feel any better, Slugger? Yeah, I feel a lot better. Peter, are you sure? Maybe you should stay home with me today. No, really. I feel great. Ah, he seems fine to me, man. And besides, it's rare for a 15-year-old to actually want to go to school. Yeah, and I got a test ace today. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, Here buddy. Peter. That boy's gonna make a real difference in the world. <sighs> I can feel it. I heard you got sick on that Phil trip yesterday. Yeah, it was weird. It must have been something I ate. I feel okay now, though. Did you see the car Flash's parents got him for his birthday? A car? Are you serious? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <sighs> He's so spoiled. Well, hey, I was going to be buying a car of my own here pretty soon. Really? Yeah, I'm, I just can't decide what model I want yet, so I've kind of been holding off. Well, hey, let me know when you get it. Maybe you can take me for a spin sometime. Okay. Okay, cool. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay, see ya. Okay, note to self. Quickly acquire thousands of dollars, purchase an awesome set of wheels, then ask out Mary Jane. Oh yeah, no sweat. Hey, Beauty! Beauty Parker! This ends now. My name's Peter. Hear that, guys? His name is Peter. Well, um, Mr. Peter, sir, what will it be today? A dunk, a dumpster, or a wedgie? Yeah. <laughs> Aw, is Puny gonna cry? Here, let's take off his little glasses. Oh, shit! My God, I think I've done it. Mendel, Mendel, I think I did it. Norman, I didn't even see you come in this morning. Well, I've been working here throughout the night, but that's not important. I, look, I know you have your doubts, Mendel, but you have to see this. Well, what is it? It's the Oz formula. I finally cracked the equation. Our vision is finally gonna become a reality, Mendel. This is what will make our U.S. military into an unstoppable force of science. So just give me a week to work out the kinks and we'll be ready for human testing. Just a minute, Norman. A week isn't enough. You need a lot more time than that. You're gonna need at least five years before you even consider human testing. Five years? Middle, we have to get on this. We've been sitting on this for the past 20 years trying to break this code. Now I'm closer than we've ever been before and you want me to hold off? Calm down, Norman. You know you've got to look at the big picture. You have to consider government regulations and rules and procedures. Besides, these are human beings we're talking about here experimenting on. Mendel, this is the biggest breakthrough this company's ever come across. This is a, a, an opportunity of a lifetime. And this is my life. And I'm not going to let you hold me back from moving forward. I'm not clearing this, Norman. This, you're getting way out of hand on this. I own half this company, Norman and I'm not going to let you bully me into premature testing of human beings. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Mendel. I guess this high stress and no sleeping is tend to throw my judgment off a little bit. Sorry. Just don't let it happen again, Norman. You need to get some sleep. Mental. I can't let you.
to hold me back any longer. Dead. I am so dead. I'm gonna get suspended from school. It's gonna go on my permanent record. I'm not gonna get into college. Uh, how did I even do that anyway? I cracked his wrist and threw him clear across the hall. I didn't even try. What's happening? Oh, am I one of those mutants? I need Oh man, that was close. Wait a minute. Whoa! How am I doing this? I'm sticking to the wall like a bug or like a, like a spider. After numerous experiments of radioactivity exposure on over 6,000 specimens, this single arachnid was the only survivor. Okay, so I'm strong, fast, and can stick to walls. There's gotta be a way I can use this to change things around for myself. I'm tired of being the punchline. I'm sick of being the loser. From here on out, things are gonna start going my way. I'll show up. Okay, Project Millionaire. Make a costume, join the wrestling federation, make out like a bandit. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Be here? Can I come in? Yeah. So, your Aunt May tells me that the school called this afternoon. School? Why? Well, they said that you broke Flash Thompson's hand. Then you ditched your last two classes. Is this true? Yeah, but he deserved it. He started the whole thing. Peter, you broke his hand. And then you ditched school. There's no excuse for this behavior. So what am I supposed to do? Just let the big jerk torture me forever? No, Peter. That's not what I'm saying. Look, I have been through what you're going through. You're changing. I know. Yeah, well, I don't think you do. Peter, you have to understand. Just because you're able to do something doesn't make it right. Every action, there is a positive and negative reaction. Yeah, like I finally stand up for myself and now I'm looked down on for it. Yeah, it sounds fair. Pete, listen. With great power comes great responsibility. Just promise me that you'll keep that in mind next time you're faced with this type of situation. Alright, Uncle Ben. So, am I, am I like grounded now or something? <laughs> no. No, I'm not going to ground you. I just want you to think about what we spoke about. Alright, Uncle Ben. Good night, son. Good night. By the way, you been working out or something? Yeah, a little bit. Keep it up. Thanks! Ben, if you only knew. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, the webs. I just called to see if maybe you want to go out on a date with me on Friday night. I thought maybe we could go out to like a movie. Supporting these powers if I can't even use them. Talk to a girl. I'm Crazy Eddie. How crazy am I? I'm so crazy that I'm slashing everything on my lot by 50%. I have a car for anyone and everyone, rich or poor. Prices start as low as $1,000. Are you tired of wanting to ask that girl out but don't even have the wheels to yeah. pick her up? Aren't you sick and tired of having to have grandma drop you off at the mall? Aren't you fed yes. up with having to watch everyone else reach their dreams in the fast lane? God, yes. Well, no more! Come down this weekend and see me, Crazy Eddie, for the car deal of your life. Today's word, big. Crazy Eddie. Okay, this all must be happening for a reason. One day I obtain superpowers, 
The next Mary Jane gives me confirmation that she would in fact actually go out with me if I had some wheels. And then last night, Crazy Eddie announced that he's slashing prices to ridiculous amounts. Now there has to be something that all these events are leading up to. By God, I think I just found it. The Crusher Hogan Challenge. Survive in the ring with champion wrestler Crusher Hogan for just three minutes and receive the ultimate cash prize. I need a plan. Now I just have to figure out how I'm gonna pull this off. They're not gonna let some 15 year old kid just hop in the ring and fight a grown man. I need some kind of a disguise or something. Where's that one drawing? Where is it? There it is. No, this is gonna take forever to make. Besides, it looks like some kind of a superhero. Uh, what am I gonna do? Well, maybe I got some old clothes in the garage. It's worth a shot. Okay, Aunt May and Uncle Ben aren't supposed to be home from out of town till late night tonight. So all I gotta do is get to the fight, win the cash, then get back here. By this time tomorrow night, I'll be picking up Mary Jane for a date. Man, I still can't believe this took all day. It's all worth it though. And this is what I like to call the payoff. Booyah! Oh, jeez. Well, that was disappointing. Lenses are still a little blurry too. Hmm. I'll make some modifications. Oh well. So I'm not Tony Stark. I'll live. Are we supposed to wait for like a bell or something? Yeah! Ha! And how are you? Get down here! Get down here! You asked for it. Come on, Hogan. Didn't your mama teach you not to shout and to say, please? to do. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the tables have finally turned. Next stop for our big boy, Petey Parker, the big time. That's right, money, women, limos, fame. Granddaddy Spider-Man gonna be on every television station across the nation, if there's enough money involved. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Question of the subject. You remember about Hold it right there, kid. Much? I live here. What happened? Aunt May! Peter! Aunt May, what? Oh, Aunt May, they're over there. I better have killed him. They killed him. He shot at me. Shot who? What are you talking about? Man, I'm family. Come on. I just got word on the suspect. He's on 123rd Street. Let's go! Peter, wait! Don't run away! Don't worry, ma'am. He'll be back. Teenagers deal with these situations a little differently. Sad to say it, but I see this every other day. Give him time, ma'am. He just has to go out and burn off some steam. Did you let Rascal out? Dude, did you feel that? It did sound like something hit us. Dude, something did not hit us. Stop being paranoid. Dude, this, this is just a stupid idea. When my brother finds out what we stole his car, he's gonna he's not gonna find out. He's just gonna take the car and go downtown, see the show, and come right back. Stop being a pussy. What is the worst that could happen?
now you're gonna pay. You murderer! Jesus, kid, I don't know what you're talking about! Don't play dumb with me! You know what you did! You killed my uncle! You killed him! You! Kid, move! Shouldn't have let me go, kid. God, he's dead. Oh no. Pete, listen. With great power comes great responsibility. Just promise me that you'll keep that in mind next time you're faced with this type of situation. Alright, Uncle Ben. What do you think I am? Some kind of a superhero? <laughs> I got better things to do. John, who? What are you talking about? Ben! Our Ben! He's gone! It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Uncle Ben. I'm sorry. Oscorp was arrested this morning for embezzlement of funds. NYPD and CIA officials are only disclosing that Mr. Strom faces imprisonment with possibly no parole for a term of 15 to 20 years. We asked business partner, scientist Norman Osborne, what his thoughts were regarding the situation, and his only reply was, quote, unquote, it troubles me to learn that my good friend Mendel is capable of such horrible actions. I feel deceived. No court date has been set just yet, but will be announced early this week. In other news, gas prices. And so it begins. Because I miss you so much, I think about you every day. I can still feel you here with me. And Peter. Peter's been taking such good care of me. You'd be so proud of him, Ben. He's such a good boy. I never meant for this to happen. I'm sorry, I may. What do you think I am, some kind of a superhero? <laughs> I have better things to do. Shouldn't have let me go, kid. Superheroes are making their mark in our city more apparent every day. The Avengers, the Fantastic Four, as well as others joined forces today to rescue over 200 children from a burning hospital. Amazingly, none of the patients were hurt or injured from the fire. When reporter Ben Urich asked Captain America what his thought process is when going up against the odds, Captain replied, quote, when you're given the gift to save lives, it is your duty to follow through, end quote. Powerful words from a powerful man. Back to you, Chet. With great power comes great responsibility. 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 Uncle Ben used to say that everything happens for a reason. That everything has a purpose. And I think I just realized what mine is.
Peter, what is all the commotion? Oh, I was, uh, just exercising. Okay, well, just keep it down. Okay, sorry. Just stay put, Norman. I'll be back in the morning and let you out. We'll thank you for this one day. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I know this isn't one of them. This is for you, Uncle Ben. Where you going, little girl? You lost? Maybe she's looking for me. Oh yeah? Who's gonna be? Him or me? Hey, give her a break, guys. My guess is she can't get over the scent of your breath. Two words. Tick tack. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, proportion strength, speed, and agility of a spider over here, buddy. So unless you plan on pulling your superpowers out of a hat, I suggest you leave the magic tricks to your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Sleep it off, guys. Tell your friends. I don't care who you are, the offer stands! Lousy good for nothing. Mr. James, we need to make another decision regarding the front page. And I need you to get out of my office! Do what I told you to do five minutes ago! Hey, Jonah. We got a girl out there who was assaulted last night by three muggers. She says she's rescued by a man spider. Man spider? Apparently happened last night. Says he moved like lightning and shot webs from his wrist. Damn it, what's wrong with this city? It's not bad enough we have to deal with those registered vigilante freaks like that stretchy guy or that rock man thing. Fantastic Four. Yeah, whatever. I don't trust any of them. They're all a bunch of terrorists, criminals. They're bringing danger right, to this city. All right, all right, I'll send her out. Hey, whoa, are you crazy? There's a Spider-Man loose in the city. I'm not gonna let the globe get this one. Get Uruk on the story, pronto! Interview the girl and contact the news stations. I want every photographer in this town to know that Bugle's paying top dollar for anybody who brings us Spider-Man pictures. I'm on it. This'll put the Bugle back on top.
Can you believe the bugle is actually offering money for pictures of a man running around in a spider outfit? Newspaper sales have been lower than average over the past six months for both the bugle and the globe. Both newspapers are hunting How much for do you shots think of actually a pay? newfound superhero, and neither Peter? have had any such luck as I don't think now. it's smart to In get other mixed news, up with local this Local gas prices spider. are up Man. once again. Oh, come on, Aunt May. He's one of the good guys. Peter, we can never be too sure nowadays. Now, I want you to promise me that you will be careful, young man. Okay, I promise. Good. I'll go fix dinner for us. What kind of dim-witted idiot photographers do we employ on this staff to where we can't even get a single lousy picture of Spider-Man? I mean, it's just a guy wearing a mask and tights. That's it. A mask and tights. Mr. Jameson, we still don't have a picture for page one. And, and Duncan is throwing up and, and Conroy is having a nervous breakdown. Tell Duncan to man up, take a pill. Tell Conroy to slap himself until his head clears. And tell yourself to get the hell out of here until you can bring me some good news. Mr. Jameson, there's the Peter Parker here to see you. Well, unless he's got a gun to put me out of my misery. Tell him we don't need any more Girl Scout cookies. Mr. Jameson, just so you know, he says he has pictures of Spider-Man. It's just a kid, Jonah. Come on. Fine. Get him in here! Okay, kid, show me that picture of you in your Spider-Man costume. My costume? Yeah, kid, your coloring book, come on. Oh, you're choking. Get him out of here. I knew this was a waste of time. No, Mr. Jameson, here. Here. Robert? Here, sit down. Now, if you tell me the truth, we won't have to bring the authorities into this. Authorities? Can't I leave it to be rat, kid. Fess up. Who really took those? No, I, I took them. They're mine. They look authentic to me, Jonah. Good news, Mr. Jameson. You're quitting? I'm quitting? Out! Let me look at those again. Run them. Front page. I'm hired? Listen, kid, this is the deal. You bring me pictures of this nut job, and I'll pay you for them. You take pictures of something else, and you're history. Now get out of here. Miss Brand will give you a check on your way out. Thank you, Mr. Jameson. Thank you so much. Scram! Hello? Aunt May, it's me. I got great news. Well, Peter, what is it, dear? I got a job. You're talking to the newest photographer for the Daily Bugle. Well, Peter, that's wonderful. Yeah, Mr. Jameson said all I have to do is take as many pictures of Spider-Man as possible for the Bugle. I'm going to take care of us, Aunt May. You'll see. Well, you be careful, Peter. I don't like that Spider-Man. Well, why not? Any man that runs around dressed as a spider in the middle of the night must have something wrong with him. I gotta go, M.A. Duty calls. I'm gonna be home a little late for supper. Bye! A victim of a mugging that occurred late last night has reported Say a geez. new hero is on the rise. The local Manhattan female was walking home from a night out with friends when three men confronted her in an alley between 51st and Broadway. I think someone needs a hug. Sorry, fresh out. The man resembled what she states was quote unquote a spider man. The question now on our city. Dude, is no way! You well. gotta give me your autograph. Hey, hey you're not Eric Estrada. I'll tell you what, I'll give you mine instead. While some locals are claiming him to be here. Last, Dr. Strom can't hold me back any longer. The power I have obtained from the Oz formula has surpassed my expectations by leaps and bounds. No one shall match my strength. No one can challenge my intelligence. However, a new challenge has been.
been presented. Spider-Man! I shall destroy him as a symbol of my newfound power. I will make him beg for his life and squash him like an insect. For I am the Goblin. For I am the Green Goblin! Please be asleep, please be asleep, please be asleep, please be asleep. Yes. Here's a special news bulletin. Several businesses located just in the Manhattan district have just been bombed by an unknown terrorist subject. Witnesses state that the subject traveled through the sky on a Someone has to do something. That resembled a glider that the US military decided to I have to do something. Ago. The subject is still at large and is considered armed and extremely dangerous. Please do not Spider senses will fail me now. Whoa! Looks like I'm taking door number one. Might as well give up. Amazing Spider-Man's here to take you back to the funny farm. You speak like a child. Yeah, okay, whatever, old man. Come on, even Michael Jackson comes out of hiding every once in a while. Behind me. Charade of heroism. It's a shame a young boy such as yourself won't live a longer life. However, I find it fair only to know who your destroyer truly is. Oh my god, Mr. Osborne! You're Harry's dad? What are you doing? What's necessary? Necessary? You're insane! Hardly! Please, Mr. Osborne, I don't want to hurt you. You need help. Then help me! Mr. Osborne, can you hear me? Harry? 
Oh, is that you? Where's my son? Where am I? He doesn't remember. Just hang tight, Mr. Osborne. I'm here to help you. Harry can't find out about this. No one can. Not until I find out what's going on. Harry! Pete! You came! Is he gonna be okay? So far the doctors are saying he might have a case of amnesia or something. He only remembers certain things from the explosion. They told me to surround him with as many familiar things and people as possible. I don't know. It's weird. What does he remember exactly? He remembers his name and who he is. But other than that, he's kind of lost. Maybe you can talk to him, Pete. He'd remember you. All right. Mr. Osborne, do you know who I am? Wait a minute. You're friends with my son. Peter. Peter Parker. Parker, um, what happened to you tonight, Mr. Osborne? I wish I knew. Last thing I remember was waking up here. The doctor see that my nervous system seems to have suffered some major traumatic shock. Can't seem to figure out how I'm recovering at this rate. Uh, honestly, I... I should be dead. This doesn't make sense. Well, uh, I guess miracles happen. So, you don't remember anything from tonight? Peter, I wish I did. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I better get going, Mr. Osborne. My Aunt May's probably wondering where I'm at. I think Harry's waiting out there, too. Um, you know, you guys probably have a lot to talk about. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you, Peter. So am I. Maybe she'll understand. Gwen's an understanding girl. <laughs> nah. I'm dead. What the hell? Can't wait! 
Okay, I know what you're thinking, and you're right. You are absolutely right. I do not deserve a girlfriend as beautiful, as interesting, as supportive. Did I mention beautiful? You know it is our one year anniversary. Of course I know. Look, I got stuck at work again. I'm sorry. But just so you know, I am fully prepared to do whatever I have to do to make it up to you. Even if that includes physical punishment. Well, okay. You're lucky I'm in a forgiving mood. But I hope you weren't late because you're out taking pictures of that creep spider man. Let's not talk about him. He's old news. I'd much rather talk about how lucky I am to have such an understanding woman such as yourself to help mold an undeserving hack like me into a better man. You sure are a character. You know that, Mr. Parker? But seriously, I am sorry. I guess you were worth the wait. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Wake up. No! Harry? Harry? Is that you, son? Not quite, old man! Wait, you're that, that Spider-Man from the newspaper. From my nightmare. You actually know me a lot better than that, Norman. What are you doing here? You brought me here, you nutcase! I didn't know such thing. Yes, you did, Norman! Ever since our last encounter, you pushed me deep into the back of that genius little brain of yours. I need something to resurrect that past! No! Please! Draw, Norman! Don't you want me back in your life? Huh? Don't you still want to kill me? No! Please! I don't understand! Well, you will once you remember who you really are! Please, I can't! Ha! I can feel it! You're getting closer! All you have to do is open your eyes and see yourself goblin! No! Open your eyes! No! Now! I can't! No! Open them! No! Open your eyes now! No! Goblin! No! Goblin! There. Open darkness. your Stay eyes, you darkness. coward! Stay in the darkness! Open! In the darkness. Now! No, open I can't. your eyes! Open your eyes! Now! Open them! Now! No! No! Stay in the darkness! Yeah! Please, Mr. Oswald, I don't want to hurt you! You need help! You need help! Yes, we do. Hello. Hey, what's shaking? Hey, sweetie. Just finishing up my math. How's work? Eh. Hey, are we still meeting for lunch today? Um, depends. Are you gonna be on time? As always. Oh yeah, hey, do you think after lunch you could go with me to that modeling audition? You know it. I'll be there to root you on. Great. So I'll see you there in like 30 minutes? Sounds good. I'll see you then. Okay. Bye. This is what it feels like to actually be on time. Calm, stable, not a single worry in sight. You missed! So much for being on time.
Okay, that's it. The backpack, it's coming off. Where are you going, buddy? Remember me? Guess so. Ha. Ha. It's not helping my situation. Hey, you really suck. You ever think about getting some glasses, Grandma? I'm getting a little better. Time to head him off at the pass. that audition I really got to get going but we need to have a serious talk tonight I'm getting tired of this look I'll be at your place in a couple of hours bye jeez this guy is non-stop it's time to end this all right no more energy drinks for you spunky uh oh oh great oh no Right back at you, pal. Bullseye. I'm getting tired of lying to Gwen about what I do. But I feel like I have no choice. After what happened to her father, she would never forgive me. Even if it wasn't my fault. Police Captain George Stacy died today in a situation that seems to have included Spider-Man. The exact details of Spider-Man's involvement are still unknown, but local deputies far and wide have declared a man on Justin. the web slam. Spider-Man was seen web slinging across the city moments ago in pursuit of the man that just killed a bank teller at the first financial bank. God, Peter, I wish you knew how much this hurts me. I wish Spider-Man would just disappear. Gwen. <laughs> Did you miss me, Mr. Parker? Goblin. I have your precious Gwendolyn here with me. What have you done? Nothing until you get here. Where? George Washington. We gotta get to them fast. There's no telling what this nutcase is capable of. I'm coming, Gwen. Don't worry. The fear, Miss Stacy. Your hero is coming. That's them. Here comes a hero now. Let her go, Goblin. Now. My, my, Spider-Man. Such an angry tone. It's a shame I'm calling the shots here. If you harm a single hair on her head, I'll never stop making you pay. Then come show me what you're made of, child. <laughs> You got wrapped up in my mess. Sweetie, I got you. 
time to finish this. Okay, gotta get Gwen down to safe grounds, call an ambulance, and then get back up here to take care of the goblin. Okay, just gotta lower her down very gently. And Gwen, just hold on tight. I got you. You're gonna be okay. I'm so sorry. This is never gonna happen again. I swear it. Aren't you breathing? What? This can't be right. I saved you. I, I caught you with my web. I. Oh no. It must have been the impact when I caught you. It was too much for your spine and your neck. God. What have I done? Don't worry, Spider-Man. You'll be joining us soon. I assure you. Only one man's dying today, Goblin. And that man ain't gonna be me. Well, then come and get me, Mr. Parker. If you can handle another death on your conscience. <laughs> I'm gonna shut you up both before all you murderous freak. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, he's gonna pay for this. I'll avenge you. You will be coming for me. And I shall be You're gonna pay for this goblin! I swear it! Oh, 
people attempt to heroism in the name of the Osborne legacy! I wish I could, but you're already finished, Goblin. You are truly pathetic. Letting fear stand in the way of what you know you must do to keep your loved ones safe. Father, please help me. I swear to you, Gwendolyn's death was only the beginning. One by one, I shall slowly destroy all the loved ones of your life until one day you'll be all alone a little spider waiting to be squashed from existence this is your last chance to truly become a hero to become a man do you accept no then you must die <laughs> The goblin's death would give me a feeling of fulfillment. So why do I feel so empty? Just a cat. 
can't believe this has happened. I don't know what I'm going to tell Harry. All I know is I need to go call the police. Let them find him. It's about time for the world to understand just what kind of a monster Norman Osborn truly was. For better or for worse.